life always presents us with a variety of options from which we can choose. If we make the right choices, it leads to success, fulfillment and happiness. The wrong choices lead to misery, failure and gloom. Today, on day 9 of the Happiness Challenge, as we progress in mastering the art of happiness, I would like to emphasize to you the importance of the choices that you are making consciously or unconsciously in your life. A few hundred years ago in India lived a saint called Goswami Tulsidas. He is famous today as the writer of the Hindi Ramayana. However, in his youth, he was not saintly at all. In fact, he was quite a Casanova. He was so infatuated by his wife that one night his wife had gone to live with her parents. When Tulsidas realized he just could not stay without her, he started off to meet her. But since it was a stormy night, there was no boat willing to take him across. He found a log that he held on to and swam across and then found a rope hanging from the wall which he grabbed and climbed up to jump through the window into his wife's room. He thought his wife would be pleased to meet him. But she was aghast. She scolded him for doing such a nasty thing. She said, in your infatuation for me, you did not realize that was a dead body which you mistook for a log and that was a snake that you assumed to be a rope. The amount of love that you have for me, she said, if you had a fraction of it for the Supreme Lord Sri Ram, you would have achieved God realization by now. That scolding Tulsidas received from his wife was a wake-up call for him. At that moment, he decided, no more. I will no longer allow my mind to remain in this degraded state. He decided to take action. He turned around, engaged in spiritual practice and devotion and transformed himself to the great Goswami Tulsidas. That one choice he made on that particular night had such a big impact on his life. Think about your own life, where you were 15 years ago and then you made choices to either study engineering or medicine or accountancy or law to get married or not to get married and these choices brought you today to the station in which you find yourself in life. Today as well, you and I have choices that we can make. Some of these choices will be reversible, some will not be reversible. The comedian Jerry Lewis, he shared that when he used to become frustrated with his marriage, he would take the movie of his marriage and play it in reverse. When he would see himself getting out of marriage, he would feel liberated. He realized this was a choice he had made from which it was not easy to extract himself. Nevertheless, 
he chose to laugh at his situation he could have chosen differently to explain to his wife to fight with her or to file for divorce so in the same way the choices that we make have short term or long term consequences will today be the day when you will decide to choose wisely and transform your life like tulsi das did you may say swami ji is life transformation so easy that it's the consequence of a single choice absolutely not alongside with the choice is the intensity of the decision there is one decision a person makes to give up smoking and then starts again at night and there was one decision that mahatma gandhi made when in south africa he was subjected to racial discrimination and he decided no more that committed choice of his no compromise enabled him to inspire a huge freedom struggle that throughout the british empire from india without the help of violence so it is not only the choices we make but also the commitment to these choices that enables us to make our life either more degraded or holy sublime noble and happier i would like to suggest for you today as you go through your day and night to ponder over the options you have what could i think here what could i do here and to become more aware of the choices you are making and to think of how to choose better tomorrow i will share with you the secret formula for choosing more wisely thank you